Okay, welcome back everybody. We are now going to move on to the air skimmer assembly. So you can see here that I've already cut out all four pieces. I've added just some minimal elements of design, you know, just quickly to put an example on there. Uh, if you look closely, you can see that I cut just outside of the pencil line, not on the pencil line, so I could maintain my measurements as well. And then we'll just show you real quick how I would go ahead and assemble this. So first thing I'm gonna do, this is the top of the air skimmer. All right, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to quickly line it up with the dotted line so you guys can see here. All right, dotted line, dotted line. It's pretty good. Okay, carefully bring it back over here so you guys can see. And then I'm just going to pull up, right, along the edge here, if you guys can see this. And if I can't get it with my, use my nail if I need to, I'm just gonna pull up right here along this edge. Okay, I'm gonna use my ruler as a, kind of a backstop. And then I'll take my ruler this way and I'll use the flat side of it to flatten that edge as best I can, right? Hopefully you guys can all see that. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'll take my ruler. I'm just trying to line it up with the Lines pretty close here. Oh, I'll lose that measurement, just make sure. Okay, right about there. Uh, bring it here so you guys can see. Okay. So now that I've got that there again, I'll just kind of scoop underneath, like so. Pull up against the edge of the ruler again as a backstop as best I can, then take the back side of the ruler, top of the ruler, and again try to flatten and push down on that side again so I can get a nice clean edge, right? Something like this. So this is the front of the skimmer, this would be the back, okay? So we'll put this here. Next we have to do the same thing with the air scoop, We've got these dashed fold lines again. So this time, I'm gonna again line up with my edge, kind of like so. And here I can actually just pull straight up against it because it's a smaller piece of folder, and then flatten. Okay. Watch again the side. Again, I'm just going to show you that I'm going just outside the line here. I'm just going to pull up against that edge and use my ruler to flatten. Now again, this air scoop goes underneath the air skimmer, so it doesn't have any design to it. Nobody's really going to see it. All right, it just goes underneath. So that's done, and then our two fins. All right, so next, I take the air skimmer body, and I'm going to cut along this edge until I get to my three inch line. So right about there. Same thing here, and this will create a flap. And about there. All right. So now we've got this flap here. We've got these two parts of the sides sticking out. Along this line, I'm just going to fold a little bit, kind of make a crease 90 degrees, and then that's going to naturally now want to go down. So we've got this far, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and 
attach these fins. Best way to do that is underneath my design here, I take just a glue stick, like so, and go ahead and put a glue on this bottom band of the fin. And if you watch, I'm gonna slide this fin behind this flap here and make sure it's even with the ground, or in this case, the desk, and push against the glue so the fin is now glued behind this, this flap created when I cut the side. Okay? All right, we'll do the other side. Again, I'm just going to again, just apply glue to this lower band of the fin. Put it behind the flap I cut, keeping it even with the table surface. And this back edge should pretty much line up. And again, you can see that it's behind this flap. So now, what do we do with this? Now this has been bent down. We need to attach this so it all stays together. So I'm going to put away the glue for a moment. And we're just going to use just regular scotch tape. I'm going to make a piece about as long as this flap here, about three inches. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then what you do is you put this tape, half of it on the flap. There we go. Like so. And then I need it to come down, be even with the edge here, like too much. Like so. And I press on the inside of the flap. And you can go like this if you want. And I guess this is still drying, so it's a little, little wobbly. But there you go. So that tape is now on the inside, like so. We'll do the same thing one more time for the other side. Again, roughly three inches. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll come over here so you can see it from this angle now. Apply the tape, half of it on the flap itself. And then take this and just want to make sure that it is, again, even with the bottom, kind of like so. And again, this, this is sliding because it's the glue's fresh. Normally I would let that dry first, but we're trying to show this in one step. Again, you guys can, of course, let your fins dry earlier. Okay, so there we go. So now you have the flap attached. And I've got my fins still drying with the wet glue. Last step will be to add the air scoop. So, again, I go back to my glue stick. I'm going to apply glue just along this defined flap. And you want to make sure you get enough glue because these guys don't want to stick underneath the air skimmer for too long as they get used. So go ahead. There you go. And now when you place this under, I've seen some people say put the flap all the way to the front. I personally like to make the flap, or sorry, the air scoop about one inch from the front. So I could take my pencil here and I could just make a little dash there about one inch. Now you can see here the skinnier side goes towards the front, right? So skinnier side to the front. I'm gonna try and line this up. That one inch line I just made right there. Take my ruler, slide it underneath and push against the air scoop so that it gets a nice adhesion to the inside of the side of the, of the air skimmer body. So I'm just using my ruler again to push on the inside underneath the air scoop. And if you look, you can see that the air scoop should be fully down, right? Pushed down and there's a little bit of a gap here so air can get caught underneath the air scoop. 
So there's a little gap right here. Uh, again, I'll try and close that up. And let that dry. Make sure this flap is going to dry correctly. This fan. And this. So, there you have it. There's your air skimmer. Again, I went a little bit fast for the sake of the video. Uh, when you do this on your own, I recommend letting the fins glue dry before you attach the tape, and then of course before you attach the air scoop. Let this completely dry, and then you're ready to race. All right, best of luck.